Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. We're going to be replacing that tire and tube with a brand new tire and tube. Using the Repaconda. Don't ask why I had to say it like that. I just did. First thing I do after the tire is in place, we remove the valve stem, release the wheel block, and then break the bead around the tire so that we can start removing the tire from the rim. This proved to be a little bit difficult and I'm still learning the machine. So I end up uh, using the spoons more than I did the actual tire removing device. And I think with more time and practice, I'll be able to do it a lot faster and dirt bike tires tend to be a bit harder than most for obvious reasons. At this point in the video, the Rubiconda is acting like a coat rack, but for a tire with a tire rack. Anyways. We want to lubricate all the way around the bead of the tire so that when it gets pushed over top of the rim, it just slides into place with a lot less friction than without lubrication. The big difference between a dirt bike rim and a motorcycle rim is the dirt bike rim has the sprocket married to the rim itself, whereas a motorcycle has a pod that has a cush drive and that helps with starting and stopping the motorcycle so that's not a direct engagement, whereas the dirt bike, you want all the power. Next thing, you want to line up the yellow dot with the valve so the lightest part of the tire is now mated with the heaviest part of the rim and that helps with balancing. Very, very important. Now, going forward, it's time to install the tube into the tire. But first, you want to remove the valve stem of the tube and that way it's more pliable because they use a vacuum to suck out all the air. Once the tube is installed, we install the rim lock to hold all in place. And then we start taking the bead of the tire and this gets pretty difficult that's why the lubrication comes in handy and we install the bead properly into place and then refill the tire up to about 35 psi Alrighty guys, one off-road dirt bike tire change for a 450X by Honda. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one. Any questions, leave them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Peace.